begin and we're going to use kind of Mike's methodology. Um, we won't be using the traditional mysteries of the rosary, but we'll be praying each decade. We'll be praying for one of our pastoral priorities. And um, this is a, a time for all of us to unite. Welcome to this little chapel here at my residence. It's good to have all of you in this chapel today. It's, it's, we couldn't social distance if, uh, if you were all physically present, but we were glad to be able to do this virtually. So let's begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So we pray for Pope Francis and for his intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We pray for an increase in our hearts of the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. And one of the beautiful things about the rosary is it's this prayer, a meditative prayer really, but it's simple enough for children to pray. It's simple enough for those that are very ill and sick. Pray, I was able to pray the rosary daily with my mother uh, during the last days of her life. Um, but while we pray the Hail Marys, they're like a chant that we're praying, remembering the, the great miracle of the Incarnation and Mary's role in that and asking her to intercede for us now and at the hour of our death. But as we do that chant, we meditate on these mysteries or these reflections. So our first of our pastoral priorities is conversion. At the heart of the church's work is to facilitate an encounter with individuals with the person of Jesus Christ. Pope Emeritus Benedict would say frequently that the heart of our Catholic faith is not our dogma and doctrine. He, he, and it, it's not that he didn't think those things were unimportant. He had been the prefect for the congregation of the doctrine of the faith. But he said that's not the, the essence of what it means to be Catholic. And he said, nor is it uh, living an ethical life. Again, not that he didn't think that was very important, but that's the fruit of our Catholic faith. At the heart of our Catholic faith is an encounter with the person, the person of Jesus Christ. And so our ministries, particularly all that we do in the sacramental life, the celebration of the Eucharist, the encounter of Jesus, and the sacrament of reconciliation, um, our empowerment through the sacrament of confirmation, all of these are ways that we encounter the living presence of Jesus. Our retreat programs, um, so many of the the spiritual uh, opportunities that are created through our ministries are these efforts to help us encounter the living Jesus. So as we pray, let us pray in this decade for a conversion of our own hearts and that we as a church might help others to encounter the incredible love and mercy of Jesus Christ. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Our second pastoral priority is evangelization. At the heart of the gospel, and the mission really that Jesus entrusted to the church was not just to keep the faith, as difficult as that can be sometimes in our secularized culture, but it's to make disciples. We're called not just to hold on to our faith, but to share that faith with others. And part of what is supported through Call to Share is our evangelization efforts. These efforts were, I think, really empowered uh, just a little over a year ago now by the Inflame Our Hearts convocation. And there are teams in all of our parishes now that are trying to help our parish communities to become these vibrant communities that not only maintain their community as it is, but are constantly on a mission to share the good news with others. Anything that happens in your life that, that's meaningful and is beautiful, you want to share that with others. And what's more meaningful, more powerful, more uh, joyful than the gift of our Catholic faiths? So as we pray this decade, let us pray that the Lord will help us to be what Pope Francis has called missionary disciples, disciples on a mission to share the good news of Jesus Christ and his church with others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must see in thy mercy. The third pastoral priority is Catholic education in all of its forms. You know, it's so important that we form our young people well in the faith. We're so grateful for our Catholic schools. They've been amazing during this time of the pandemic. Our teachers have done incredible work in helping to teach virtually, but now um, for most of our schools, God willing, in person. And that's so important because at the heart of our Catholic education is really the witness that our young people who are exposed to witnesses of the faith, which our teachers and all of our Catholic school staff is called to be. We partner with the Holy Family School of Faith as they help our, our teachers do their own formation on a regular basis to grow in their own relationship with Jesus Christ. Also, uh, we form our leaders for our parish communities. Part of what Call to Share does is help us to educate our seminarians, help recruit new men for the seminary, help form our permanent deacons who are so important in our parish life as well. Our parish schools of religion and family education is part of this as well. It's one of the things again through the pandemic which has come home to us, how important that the first teachers of the faith are really parents and that the most important education happens in our homes. And so in this decade, let's pray for our, our families, that we can be these communities that nurture the faith, that we can pray for our, our Catholic schools and our Catholic school teachers who do this incredible mission, for all those that teach in our parish school of religion programs, for our priests, our deacons, all of our lay leaders, uh, that we can be formed well in the, the beautiful gift of our Catholic faith so we can be these dynamic witnesses of the faith in the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The fourth pastoral priority is serving those in need. Really at the heart of the, the gospel, is bringing the love of Jesus Christ to others, making the love of Jesus Christ alive and real and tangible in our world today. And Call to Share helps, to, helps the church to do this. It does this in our pro-life ministry. I'm so proud that during this time of pandemic, we've actually embarked on a, a national effort to walk with moms in need, to increase the resources that are available for those that are experiencing a difficult or untimely pregnancy. So surround them with all the support that they need to choose life for their child. Our pro-life office also is spearheading an effort to promote foster care in our parishes, uh, to take care of these children whose families are going through a difficult time. And we have so many of our families already that are doing this, we need more. But we as parishes need to support them in this really heroic work that they do in caring for these children and giving them a loving home at an important moment in their life. Catholic Charities does amazing work. And in the midst of this pandemic, when the needs have been even greater, and because many of their volunteers are, are in the high vulnerability list that they've had fewer volunteers, but they've actually served more people this year than they ever have, bringing the love of Christ, making sure that people have food on the table, helping them at the, the economic victims of this pandemic as well, and making Christ's love real and tangible in the world today. Our special needs ministry is another way in which we surround families that have a, a child or an adult with special needs and help them uh, to love that Pope Francis talks about this throwaway culture in our world today where if lives aren't perfect, <laughs> we discard them. And yet it's these uh, children and these adults that God has placed in our midst to draw forth from us heroic love and we need to support families. So those are just some of the ways that Call to Share helps us to bring the love of Christ and make it real for people in the world today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The fifth pastoral priority is creating a culture of stewardship. You know, stewardship is it's a way of life, and it begins with gratitude. We're in this season in our, our nation where we give thanks in a special way, and though there are some that our Thanksgiving celebrations may be much different than we're used to because of this uh, pandemic, but for the Christian, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Every day is a day that we should be filled with gratitude and aware that everything that we have, our life, our health, the gifts, the talents, the opportunities that we have, all of these ultimately come from God. And it's this awareness, this gratitude, that then inspires us to want to share what God's entrusted to us with others. That the best way we can glorify Him in the gifts that He has given to us as, is to be stewards of those gifts and to use them uh, to help those that are most in need in our society and culture. And so you do that in a very special way as being members of the Crozier Society. And our, it's so important as a church that we pool our resources annually so that we can direct them to those places of greatest need. That we, we're not just little parish communities, so that that's the heart of the church is parish life but we're part of a bigger family, and we need to share those resources. One of the things that Call to Share does is when one of our parishes, particularly parishes that are in financially challenging areas without resources, if they have an emergency need, if their furnace goes out, or their roof gets destroyed, they're, we're there to help them through Call to Share, through the parish emergency fund. And that's just one example of the way that this annual pooling of our resources really is a great act of stewardship. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the life, death, and resurrection of your Son has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may 